hello welcome back <laughs> um i am in this attire today because it is a bank holiday monday i'm relaxing i've just done a video on this makeup and i hate it so i want to cover as much as possible <laughs> and if you want to see how i did my makeup this the video will be coming after this update video and yeah so i'm just like snuggly cozy egg for you today so this is cream update one <laughs> so the first thing that i put in was the elf putty bronzer uh in tan lines and i wish i had something to show you but i actually used that all up and i used the empty container uh for travel and then when it was empty I threw it away because I uh, forgot I didn't record this update and threw it out into the bin in a different country but <laughs> I am finished it it is out of my collection I'm, I'm down to one cream bronzer and that is the Charlotte Tilbury one which makes me happy because I don't want a big backstock of cream products because they go bad the fastest hence partners in cream project um the next thing that i can actually update you on is the elf putty blush in turks and caicos this is what it looks like in the pot um but i don't use it out of the pot this is what it's looking like in the pan so let me just take the pan out of the palette if i'm honest with you this has not seen much love because i forgot this was in a project and I've been focusing on my Glossier Clyde paint, which is in my other project. So yeah, I don't know the best way to use these putty blushes. Like is it best with a sponge? Let me try with a sponge now. I'll watch some reviews to see like the best way. Like it looks nice there with the sponge because I've been using a brush and I don't think this brush is the move. So I will keep this in my everyday magnetic palette of things I want to focus on which currently only has my Charlotte Tilbury what is this uh, the Charlotte Tilbury air blush brighten and flawless finish powder and this blush so they're in there to be used every day so they're there <laughs> and hopefully I'll have better usage on the next update but like with blush you don't use a lot. I'm wearing the blush today. Oh, I just showed you my the patchy bronzer that I used. Oh, and you can't see it. You can't see it now. So am I using too little? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But then going on to the collection. What is this called? Go Gorgeous glow stick in highlight. And okay, that is as high as it's gonna. Be go for me so there's not much left that's kind of the color it gives I use I've been using this a lot in the last kind of two weeks because I like run it on the back of my hand warm it up and then use it on my hand and put it all over my face and um, yeah I think this will be done by next update I think I'm not gonna dig it out because it's not my favorite but once I get to the lip where I can't use any more product I will call it done that's when I'll call it done which makes me happy because there was a lot in this and I used up a good lot I did use up a good lot of it prediction for next update is I will have this finished now essence milky way lip gloss this is what my essence lip gloss is looking like right now <laughs> because I mixed in a little bit of the Glossier lipstick in Villa to make it a more palatable colour for myself because the Milky Way lip gloss on its own was just so glittery that um, it was so glittery that I wasn't at the biggest fan and I like wearing a pinky lip look every day because my lips are pink like my lips my natural lip colour is quite nice I do like it enough said <laughs> but um yeah i'm 
literally down to here like down to here and I might take the stopper out soon-ish but there's still a lot of product that's coming out on the doe foot so I don't think that'll be for a bit but I do bring this with me every day and I put it on in the morning and when I remember so this this won't take long but it will take longer than this I believe because after I take the stopper out there'll be so much more of it <laughs> but yeah I'd say two more months on that one if I'm being like categorically honest with myself if I was saying but that was putty blush to finish this like a full year I don't know I'll sneak peek but I have like this much left of my Glossier clay paint and once this is done this will be my main blush because I love the colour but I just need this out of my life the bane of my existence now the last thing that I added that is still in use so I only have four things I don't know if it's the kind of thing where you would add in a product if you used one up I don't want to do that so I'm not going to but I rolled in this glossy A stretch concealer in G12 and I just want to hit pan on this and if you look like up here I'm really focusing on this side and there we go there's a good dip down so I want to hit the bottom of the pan soon that is my goal and that is my update I really I'm, I'm really enjoying the progress I'm making I love that I used up the elf putty, bl putty bronzer um I hope I really do hope that I make more progress on the putty blushes because I do have four putty blushes I'm thinking of getting rid of one of them though because it is just not the right skin tone I'm I am not right the right skin tone to make it look flawless in my own opinion but to make more progress on the elf putty blush I think in the next month or two months I will finish the collection highlight stick the essence milky way I think one or two months on that as well and then the glossy stretch concealer maybe by the quarterly refresh hopefully maybe yeah 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 <laughs> okay so if you're doing a partners and cream let me know I'd love to check it out I love looking at other people's updates and yeah I will see y'all later like comment subscribe see ya <laughs>